Floyd Mayweather, the renowned legend of boxing, found himself in a covert phone conversation with none other than Bill Haney, the father and manager of the emerging talent, Devin Haney. In an exclusive reveal, it's unveiled that Mayweather and Bill Haney are engaged in a dialogue sending shockwaves throughout the boxing world. However, here's the surprising twist. Mayweather, known for his astute maneuvers, opted to record this conversation. But this isn't your typical exchange. It's a revelation of monumental significance. Bill Haney puts forth an audacious proposal that's not merely attracting attention. It's causing heads to spin. The captured audio reveals the crux of his proposition, one steeped in clandestine dealings. I have an offer that's impossible to turn down. I want Devin to take on Gervonta. However, I require him to deliberately lose, echoes Bill's voice in the recording, revealing the extent of the backstage maneuvers. The recordings expose a nuanced negotiation, with Mayweather adeptly sidestepping dubious offers without committing to anything. The fallout from this revelation creates a storm in the boxing world. The recordings circulate within boxing circles, igniting heated debates regarding the ethics and principles of the sport. I've always upheld legacy and honor in this game. I won't allow anyone to tarnish that, regardless of the tempting offer, Mayweather affirms. In a subsequent press conference, Mayweather firmly asserted his stance on the issue. However, as the story unravels, the spotlight doesn't solely illuminate Mayweather. It also shines on Devin Haney, the young talent caught in the midst of the turmoil. How will he react to his father's questionable ambitions, and what repercussions will this have on the sport? The recorded phone call introduces an unforeseen layer of drama to the boxing narrative, leaving fans and pundits eagerly anticipating the unfolding chapters of this saga. Now, shifting our attention to the intense rivalry between Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis, a feud that has been brewing since the climax of Haney's highly anticipated fight against Regis P.R., in the latest developments, the verbal exchanges between the two have escalated to an intense level. Bill Haney drops a bombshell, asserting that Davis rejected a staggering $20 million offer from Haney's team. In a video, he appeared bewildered, exclaiming, Bro, you turned down $20 million guaranteed? $20 million, bro? Are you serious? This statement reverberated across the boxing world, causing shockwaves. In response, Davis fired back during an intense Instagram Live session, dismissing the offers, stating, These dudes are playing if they want to make the fight happen, they know who to call, they're broke. Meanwhile, Haney persistently needled Davis. The CEO of Mayweather Promotions took the opportunity to deliver a final response. Both parties had their say. But then, a video surfaced on social media featuring Bill Haney's response to Davis's comments about the potential Haney PR fight. In the Twitter video, Haney, skeptical about Davis's claims, mentioned that Leonard Ellerby himself might present fabricated numbers. He challenged Ellerby to reveal the source for their criticism of the recent fight, asserting that the fight and its engagement far surpassed any numbers Ellerby could conjure. He ended by provocatively addressing Ellerby as Mr. Spook. Haney underscores the importance of respecting his son's talent. Ellerby, however, stands firm in his response, stating, Since you're new to the pay-per-view game, let me enlighten you. You or anyone else can't make an offer to Tank Davis. Remember, you're the opponent. That's how it operates. I won't engage in this back and forth regarding this nonsense. Clearly fatigued by the continuous verbal sparring, Ellerby wishes to halt the discourse. But wait, it appears that Haney has intentions to face Davis despite another champion declining. The potential fight between Davis and Devin Haney undoubtedly holds immense significance. However, during a conversation with the Boxing Voice podcast, Haney drops a bombshell hinting at another potential mega fight in the works. Haney disclosed that Teofimo Lopez, a two-division world champion, reached out to him for a potential fight. However, Haney wasn't swayed by Lopez's proposal. Out of the blue, Teofimo texts me saying, let's make this fight happen, bro, Haney recalled. Yet, Haney promptly redirected Lopez, reminding him of his contractual obligations. You're tied up in a contract, right? You should be talking to Bob, right? He replied. Lopez confirmed he was already in discussions with Bob Arum, leading Haney to question the purpose of their conversation.
Bill Haney staunchly rejects any comparisons between his son and Floyd Mayweather Jr., especially following Devin Haney's decisive win over Regis Progre. In a grueling 12-round match at Chase Center in San Francisco, Haney claimed the WBC 140 pounds title from Progre, dominating the scorecards in his debut at the weight class. Bill Haney expressed his immense joy and pride in his son's remarkable achievement. Furthermore, Devin's head trainer boldly asserts that a certain Hall of Famer, Money Mayweather, doesn't merit being mentioned alongside his 25-year-old son. Haney said, what Floyd didn't achieve at 25, Devin has accomplished. This marks the era of Devin Haney. Guess what, Floyd? You can continue talking about money if you wish, but someone is ascending towards boxing's Mount Rushmore, and his name is Devin Haney. He further added, he's a two-division world champion, undisputed world champion, overseeing a team of approximately 25 individuals, and remarkably, no contract issues, disputes, or broadcasting conflicts. Welcome to the Devin Haney era. Don't even bring up Floyd Mayweather in conversation with me. Following a contentious victory over Vasily Lomachenko in his previous bout, Haney dominated New Orleans fighter, who now holds the unfortunate record for the lowest total punches landed in a title fight since CompuBox began recording, with only 38 punches landed. Haney, often criticized for his perceived lack of punching power, managed to drop Pro Gray in the third round with a straight right, repeatedly buzzing him throughout the fight. Just when you think this saga couldn't get any more intense, stay tuned because Shah Nam, the author behind Murder on Federal Street, Tyrone Everett, The Black Mafia, and The Last Golden Age of Philadelphia Boxing, might have more revelations to share. This public exchange of verbal jabs acts as fuel to the fire, keeping fans on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating when these two boxing powerhouses will finally clash in the ring. Will the promise of a massive payday and the chance to cement their legacy be enough to bring Davis and Haney face to face? The saga escalates with Leonard Ellerby, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, stepping into the fray. He dismisses the ongoing verbal sparring, reiterating the intricacies of the pay-per-view dynamics. Ellerby's direct statement that opponents cannot make offers to Tank Davis injects a layer of business acumen into the situation, leaving fans pondering the behind-the-scenes negotiations. Adding a twist to the narrative is the potential curveball in the form of Teofimo Lopez. Haney discloses that the two-division world champion approached him for a bout, However, Haney's response spices things up. One random day, I get a text from Tio saying, let's make this fight, Haney reveals. Yet he promptly shuts down the proposal, highlighting the contractual complexities and redirecting Lopez to Bob Arum. The drama doesn't confine itself to the ring, but extends into the negotiation corridors, where alliances form and dissolve as swiftly as a knockout punch. The sport's unpredictability amplifies as unexpected matchups and surprise fights surface, casting a veil of uncertainty over the boxing world. Amidst these revelations, let's center our attention on Devin Haney, who holds an undisputed world champion title and showcases a talent for dismantling opponents. He stands at the heart of this storm. The criticisms regarding his punching power are hushed when he drops PRR with a potent straight right in the third round consistently buzzing him throughout the fight. What hidden narratives and behind-the-scenes tales lie waiting to be unveiled? As revelations unfold, anticipation mounts within the boxing community, setting the stage for another captivating layer of this narrative. Here we sit ringside, witnessing a spectacle that surpasses the confines of an ordinary boxing match. It's not merely about the exchanged punches or the championship secured. It's about the untold stories the alliances facing trials, and the legacies taking shape. Buckle up, fight fans, because this saga is far from its conclusion. While the dust settles in one corner of the ring, another storm brews, promising more shocks, surprises, and twists in the enthralling realm of professional boxing. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.